bedpost is so shiny. Oh, my God. Are you still obsessed with Kent? Just ask him out already. The worst that can happen is he says no. Are you kidding? Of course he'll say no. There's no way he'd ever go out with me. He's just so dreamy. Oh, Kent, what are we going to do? With the Earth destroyed, we're the only two humans left. Well, then, it looks like we need to start repopulating. Meg and Kent are having space sex. We can't show it, but that's what's happening. Uh, I think she's choking. Should we wake her up? No, she's got to learn to breathe out of her nose. She's getting it. Peter, you want another waffle? I can't, Lois. I promised Janice I'd take a shift. Can I get two eggs scrambled on toast? Sure thing, honey. Adam and Eve on a raft, wreck them. I'd like a hot dog with ketchup and some jello, please. Paint a bow wow red and a side of nervous pudding. Can I have a well done burger with lettuce and tomato? Burn one, drag it through the garden, pin a rose on it. Can I use your bathroom? Got a telephone pole heading to the swimming hole, spray it with sunshine. Psst. Hey, dog. What? You want in? Yeah. Ah, look at this. She's taped photographs of Virginia Woolf and Katy Perry on the inside cover, as if she's some sort of hip hybrid of those two things. Oh, yeah, like she could ever write Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Brian, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf was not written by Virginia Woolf. Yeah, obviously. But, you know, it's it's pretty much about her. It really isn't, Brian. Let's, uh, let's just get into this, huh? Dear Diary, got down to 152 today. I think that's a nice weight for me. Oh, here's another one. Dear Diary, just discovered the music of John Denver. Wow-wee, where's this been? Hey, look at this. Kent is so incredibly sexy. He said hi to me today, and I almost died. Also, I learned a funny lesson today in my pursuit of Kent. Anal bleaching is better left to professionals. LOL. Oh, oh, oh no, oh. no, no. Come on now, come on. Jeez, it's just... Pages and pages of stuff about this Kent guy. She's really obsessed with him. Well, obsession's not such a bad thing. It got us the first printing press. You're a whore, Sheila, and I'm going to make sure everybody knows it. Here. I can't read. No one can read. Bye, Patty. Bye, Esther. Bye, overzealous Asian kids lining up to be the first ones in school tomorrow. Ah, go away. No time to say bye. <laughs> I pass you because you lose focus. Damn, lost focus. Life over. <laughs> oh, Kent, this is all I ever wanted. I feel the same way, Meg. From today onward, this is our life. We should get off the horse soon. I want to save one for you. Oh my god, are you alright? I'm fine. Lucky for you, this tree was my destination. And the job exchange begins. Sir, do you want to move ahead on the agreement with the sanitation union? Sir, we need leadership. Oh, my God, Meg. Are you okay? Yeah, I I'm fine. I guess I got distracted again thinking about Kent. Oh, I can't do this anymore. I've just got to ask him out. Sorry. Honey, give me any laundry you have. I'm doing a diapers and Meg load. Hey, Mom, can I ask you about something? Of course, Meg. What's on your mind? Well, there's this guy I like at school, and I was thinking about, I, I don't know, maybe calling him and... Meg, are you asking in this day and age when the CEO of Xerox is a woman, when the president of Brazil is a woman, even Rosie O'Donnell is a woman, whether it's appropriate for a girl to ask a boy out on a date? Of course it's appropriate. It's also sad and desperate, and I would never do it, but you're not me, are you, sweetie? No, I'm not. Oh, no, you're not. Hello? Hey, Kent. It's Meg from English class. Uh. And math class. And bio. 
in the Facebook campaign to get me to kill myself. Oh, Meg. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, nothing much. I was just wondering if you maybe wanted to hang out sometime. Sure. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. Um, I'll I'll text you. Ah! Yes. I can't believe it. Oh my god. I'm going out on a date with Kent. Last name. Yes. 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 Ah! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this for you. Oh, hello. Hi, you must be Mrs. Griffin. I'm Kent. I'm here to pick up Meg. Oh, Kent, it's so nice to meet you. She's just getting ready. Meg, Kent's here. Just putting on my lipstick. Damn it! And this is Meg's brother, Chris. Oh yeah, I've seen you around school. You eat with the deaf kids, right? One of them isn't all the way deaf. What grade are you in again? That's still being worked out by a team of counselors. Cool. Hope to see you around school. He seems nice. Sorry, I missed all that. I was tweeting. Coming this fall, the prequel to Philadelphia. Are you sure we don't need a condom? No, it's okay. I'm a lawyer. <sighs> How you girls doing on popcorn? I'll take some. Here you go. <sighs> oh, sorry. Am I taking up the whole armrest? Boy, kind of chilly in here. Really? You got big sweat marks under your boobs. That must mean they must like you then. <laughs> hey, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, thank God. And now our feature presentation: Adrian Brody doing sit-ups in 3D. One, ah! two. Ah! That was fun. We should hang out again sometime. Yeah, definitely. Well, good night. Good night. Oh no, I, I'm I'm sorry. Oh I, my god, I thought you. I, want... I didn't think this was a date. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Hey, it's ten thirty. I suggest you take your dope and go elsewhere. I'm sorry, Meg. I think you're great, and I love hanging out with you. But there's something you should know. I'm gay. You are? Look, I really like you as a friend, but to be honest, I like Chris. What? For God's sake! I have a shoe appointment in the morning, and I want to be fresh. Yeah, the person I'm attracted to is your brother. Brother? Rupert, did you hear that? Meg's boyfriend is in love with me. Not that I care. I mean, it, it won't matter once I explain to him what's going on with us. But what would I tell him is going on with us? Brian. Brian. Hey, princess. I'll get out of your hair. I can see you want to be left alone. Why does everything bad always happen to me? Huh, you and me both. I got this cold, <coughs> and it's it's just in that I don't want to give it to a friend stage, you know. Oh God, you hear that? I sound like a Jewish seance. The uncle says. <coughs> The grandpa says, "What?" The aunt says, "Ah." Ken told me he's gay, and even worse, he likes Chris. Oh wow! Really sorry to hear that, Meg. I don't get it. I've been going to high school with him for three years, and I always assumed he was straight. Well, high school's a tough time, Meg. Maybe he thought he was straight, but then realized he's gay. He's probably still figuring things out. Hang in there. Well, I'll help him figure things out. I'll help him figure out that he's straight. Ah. Uh, uh.